Hello, this video I will show you how to use the software of the new model TD112. Uh, first, you need to get the software. And you can uh, email us to get it or download from our website. Uh, there are two softwares, the watch receiver program software and a calling software with the USB transmitter. Uh, first, we open this. Okay, uh, you can see uh, I have already connected the uh, watch receiver uh, with the charging cable on the PC, so you will see it's green. Uh, if you not connect with the um, watch receiver, it will be yellow. And when you connect, you can choose the uh, correct port. Okay, and you can see uh, write data to the watch, uh, to the watch and quit. And choose English and Chinese. Um, uh, there are a few uh, functions. First, the staff management and area management, caller management, and a key value management, keypad management. Um, now we show you how to set them. First, you can add the staff. Add. You can see I just add Jack as the uh, 001 and also uh, this information. Now I can add another one. For example, Lucy. And you can give her the page ID 002. The page ID is also the watch receiver ID. You can keep same or depend on your um, user. Okay, you can see that uh, once you add the staff management, it will be uh, added to the calling software directly. Okay, you can see these are the staff information. So they will uh, sign directly to this one. So this one you don't need to set anything. And uh, after you add the staff, you can um, at the area, uh, which means you, uh, your area location. For example, uh, you give the four tables to Jack, and A1 to A4, and you can also add this uh, according to your tables. And also, you can choose and uh, edit, or delete, or clear. Uh, for the color management, you can see mm, this is the area name and the color ID uh, for Jack. Add. Okay, you can. This is for Jack. I just uh, add the A1 uh, to Jack. Now I will add A2. Choose Jack and area name A2. Uh, at this moment, you need to press the uh, call button, which you just uh, pair with the watch receiver. Uh, when you press the call button, the watch receiver will notice, and also the caller ID will automatically be here. So you don't need to do any other things. And press OK. You can see it add. OK, let's do another one. A3. Okay, put here and choose the uh, third call button you have paired with the watch receiver. Okay, it's done. So make sure you pair the watch receiver first with the uh, uh, pair with the call button first with the watch receiver, and then it will work. So, uh, of course, you can edit, uh, delete, and clear. Uh, for this key value menu management, uh, if you want to change the key name of the call button, you can choose it and change the name. For example, uh, we use the uh, call. And after press, after uh, insert the call, you can just uh, press the call button which you want to use this name. It will change here directly. And let's check another one. Uh, 
it will show here directly. Make sure it's in the uh, choose receiver mode. Otherwise, this one is not working. Uh, at last, it's the keypad management. This is the keypad ID and the uh, keypad name. You can give the keypad name as the uh, chef name. So uh, the staff can notify which chef is calling. Of course, you can add and edit, delete, and clear. Let's add another one. Keypad ID. First, you need to uh, make sure the keypad ID on the transmitter. And in other videos, you can see that. Uh, if the keypad is ID is uh, 3, you can enter. And the keypad name, you can name uh, the staff. And up to nine numbers and letters. Okay, this. Uh, after programming all the information, you can write to the watch. But when you um, make sure that one time you can program to one staff, so you can choose the staff Jack, which we just set, and make sure uh, not choose the right staff name. So. Just uh, keep it blank and write. Otherwise, it will be full. OK, now the information are all programmed to the watch receiver. And you can check that later. Thank you.